playing Rumble mid lane because Shen wants to go top, and I felt like playing Rumble, so I'm just going to play mid. Um, I don't really do this too often. I usually play him top, but it's pretty much the same principle mid. Um, for this, I'm going to take 15 AB on my Quince, Magic Pen Reds, or not Magic Pen, sorry, Hybrid Pen Reds. And uh, for my Masteries, instead of going 921, I'm going to go 21-9 for more offense and more uh, pushing power, more damage, because I feel confident in being able to survive. I just want to be able to kill shit faster, because Rumble does a lot of damage. If you actually, like, build damage, he does so much damage. But, um, his base damages are good enough. You can go 21 defense. In fact, they do have a Ramus that might make me kind of want to go at least deep enough to get the tenacity down here, but I don't know. I think Rumble is OP. Not really. The ulti nerf is pretty good though, because the way his ulti works now is if you if you hit their whole team with it, even if it's not in a good spot, it's does it's done its job. It chunks everything and it hurts a lot. It applies his his Leandries and it just burns everyone down really hard. Whereas now, like they don't have to stay in it is what I'm saying. They don't have to stay in it for it to actually be huge. Now they, since they're changing it, they actually have to sit in the ulti for it to matter, right? So you have to actually place it in a good spot, not just like tag everybody with it down a line and be like, okay, there's the ulti. What I mean by this is um, you want to place it either as follow-up or in a place where they can't get out of it. Like in between blue and wolves, there's like that pathway. If you throw it down there, they have to stand in it, something like that. So it just takes some of the upload, the upfront burst away from Rumble, but I think it's still going to be good. I think they leave that alone. Who you calling little? Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Ever look up to a Yordle? Are you talking about Rumble? Do I level the E last? It depends on the lane. Sometimes you, you level your shield second, sometimes you level your E second. Usually you always level your Q first because it's your most damage. It's the way you push. It's just it what makes Rumble Rumble. Like without Q twice. He just feels like shit. Like you need you need the damage, you need the pushing. Otherwise you just you don't you're not really a threat. Who wants a piece of this? Like it just doesn't feel good, but it doesn't mean you want to get Q first, it's just you eventually max it first. You get the damage. Minions Usually you take E spawned. second, and then you can either take Q second twice for damage, or you can take W for Ripped more up. more passive lane, and then start maxing Q from there. Either way, it's okay. But Rumble, if you play Rumble mid, generally your goal is to roam. Like, you want to push and roam. That's this is gonna Rumble's be roaming bottom is really strong, because bottom... Generally, you get two or three people to fight down there, and Rumble is extremely potent in AoE fights because most of his damage is in an AoE, so when you roam, even if they counter gank it, you can still like kill everything, and I've seen it happen, it's really powerful, but you don't really see Rumble's mid too often, so... He's uh, trying to fight me with his shield. I don't really want to fight, I just want to farm. That's why I went boots. Hold her steady. Now we're cooking. Uh, cool. 
No, dude. Oh my lord. Well, somehow that worked out, but... I was pretty sure she was gonna get out of that. Maybe I should be more open to people ganking. I just feel like that could have gone so much worse if you didn't wait. Plus, when she flashed over and Rammus flashed in, that was like the worst thing they could have done, because now they're split. So me and him are together, me and Kazus are together, Diana and Rammus are split. There's no way they could fight us. And I was just going to to get haunted guys. Haunted guys is definitely a great buy. Doesn't really leave me much room to get more consumables, but I think I should be okay. I don't feel like Diana's gonna kill me. She's pretty far behind. She even picked up a cloth armor for some reason. Probably because she wants to build it eventually into a Seeker's Arm Guard or Zonia's, and she wants it for the Kha'Zix ganks, but honestly, she's gonna have me to worry about. She should be worrying more about me than Kha'Zix, because I can, I can kill her pretty easily by myself. Damn, this guy's level 5 already. Carry junglers, man. Jungle's carrying, yo. Out level solos after a good gank. All right, you don't have to tell me twice. I don't really have to hit the E's, although it's ideal if I do. As long as I get my Q off, and he's like sitting in there trying to juke the E. Constantly he's gonna take damage. This guy's dead. He just got baited. Yep, Rumble's just so good in, in multiple person ganks. And that was a really nice counter gank by Kha'Zix. But even had he not counter ganked, there was no way they were gonna kill me. They were very desperate. Very desperate for that kill. The haunted guys. Get some wards. Pots. Just keep shitting on Diana. Once I hit 6, I can just roam if another lane needs it. But Or I could just use it to kill her. Kha'Zix is playing extremely well. He's either getting super lucky or he's just like... I know what's about to happen. Like he's got a, a knack for it. He's like, yeah, this this, this Ramus is gonna keep coming mid. Oh, he just got burned down so hard. Rumble is a huge bully. up to a yordle. Oh shit, Lee Sin is here. Kept me alive. That was a good ulti. Got him the assist. Kept me alive long enough for me to kill Diana. And you did. And Rammus. That's actually fine. I'm okay with that. I think I'm gonna sell one potion. Pick up another. Uh, pick up another amplifying tome. It'll eventually build into Leandries, but I'll just keep it as an amp tome for now. I want to get the sword boots first. Maximize my spell. Right, dude. Now we're cooking. I want level. I want level nine first, actually. I can go now, though. Let's 
Scout Blue. I think it'll be okay to farm if he wants. Alright, keep going. I don't want to force anything. It's not necessary to force anything. I could dive them, but it's like what happens if we get counter ganked and I'm caught out. It's like there's no point. Just keep fighting this guy. If they push, if they ever push out, it's okay. Time for a Vandal City beatdown. <laughs> Who wants a piece I think I found of my target. He's farming his rates, or either that or Ramus is nearby. Probably doing, he might be doing his red. Up to a oh, I should have affected. Ah, uh, creep block. Making it so I'm pointing my flame spitter away. That's not cool. The bigger they are, the harder I hit them. Jump on me, I dare you. <laughs> Who you calling little? Oh, kill this guy. Oh, he got his flash. Got his flash. It's worth it. This is gonna be rough. You're not getting any of this. Yes. Oh, whoops. I meant to use Q. Oh, why did I turn around? Help me push it out. I could just buy Leandrews, right. but I really, really, really want my sword prints first. Especially since this guy has no magic resist. God, full magic pen rumble with just... This guy's have nothing. This guy lit 48 MR. I have freaking 35 spell pen. I'm literally just gonna die. This guy. Okay, he went... I don't know why he went Seekers, because the armor doesn't help him at all. You don't have to tell me twice. Like, I know he wants Zonia's, but... It's hard, to, it's hard to build for, like, a team in a solo queue when you can't control your lane. He's not building at all to uh, survive his lane. I just keep killing him. Or pushing him in and roaming, so... Yeah, Kha'Zix is just running right now. Nicely played. Now we're cooking. Right there, I just I took out half his HP for a few tower hits. He just does so much damage. He's going for his raids, so I'm just gonna push this out. Maybe I can clock him or something on his way back. Uh, he finished it too hard. Alright, sorry, too fast. Why would he do that? Yeah, whatever. I'm out. I think, think Rylize would be pretty good. I just build towards that. I don't have to get the, the Leanges right away. I can get it second. Or I don't even have to build it at all. I can just leave it as a guys and build like a death cap or something. Yeah, it's like there's really no place for me to roam. Like everyone's just getting owned. So instead of like forcing a bad play, I can just... Guaranteed kill mid, I'd rather just do that. Because if I dive and bad shit happens, then they can come back. But if we're already winning. Why make it worse, right? What the hell? That's real. Now we're cooking. Interesting. That was pretty funny. So Rambus might try to tower dive. Back. 
you're steady. Oh, what? Oh, hold on, kill this guy. What the fuck? What is this guy doing? Much this is that's all I gotta say. Now we're cooking. Your team has destroyed a turret. Uh Yeah, he's pretty mad. <laughs> Ever look up to a Yordle? Welcome to Solo Queue. North American Solo Queue is basically this. You don't have to tell me twice. All right, I'm going. Oh God, got me, man. Everyone, push their lanes, please. I'll get the Leandries, sure. I'll pick it up. Hmm. Kill him. What? Don't be scared. Kill that guy. There's no one around. I guess I can get a uh, Rylize or I can just go Death Cap. Probably just gonna go Death Cap. I don't really need the slow, like, it's good to synergize with Leandries on your Q, but if you hit your E's and your R's, then that also applies the double bonus effect with the F slows. You don't really need it. You don't really need a, a, a Rylize to make the Andrews get on normal. I'm just gonna go farm bottom then. Huge wave. Who wants a piece of this? Ramus was already in his ball form, so he just knocked him up. They both, like, as soon as he got pulled in, he got knocked up, and so Ramus couldn't get a punch. He might be doing that to bait. He, I, like, walk up to attack him, and then he, like, flash taunts me or something, and he falls down. Oh, God. Please. Please. I'm getting 
blue buff. See if that is. Oh, this guy's dead. I don't know. I want blue buff. Please. Aw. Come back. Fire. Fucking smited it. Who wants a piece of this? Oh shit. Oh Jesus. I'm just gonna have to survive long enough for a pen to I should have, I should have a uh, death cap on my five. Oh, got it right now. Nice flash. Or did they surrender? They're acting like they surrendered. I don't know. I have no idea what happened. I can't see surrender votes until the game ends for some reason. I don't know if that's on purpose or what. Yeah, I'll get our blue then. I'm gonna ulti top and get our blue. Maybe. I don't have enough money for home guards. It's gonna take forever. Oh, please. Please don't take our. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll spam W and watch my team fight. Play with one hand. Oh. Christ, that damage. One more wave. I wanna go fight with my team, but I don't know. No, I'm gonna get our blue. Team can fight by themselves. GG. I should get a DFG on Rumble. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. That'd be pretty fun. That's probably not the best item to get on this guy, but it's it'll be fun. Reasoning being like Rumbles doesn't really need CDR that badly. Oh really? My ulti were up. But yeah, CDR is, is it's not bad on Rumble, but you don't really need to itemize for it. A blue pot is honestly enough. And um, the active is kind of hard to, it's, it's not hard to use, it's just that there are other items that you can get for Rumble that work better. Damn, dude. Oh, that's and a soul with you guys. This is, what, this is what you guys are missing out on. The high elo solo queue? Hell no, dude. This is just the same as like everyone's solo queue games. Fuck this guy. I'm buying home guards and taking care of him. Okay, okay, he's already dead. Oh, whoa. Okay, going back to base. I can afford it after they take the towers. I'll wait. Who wants a piece of this? No? Alright, I'll get home guards then. Actually, Al Alacrity would be better, but I'm too lazy to wait to get out of the base, so let's get home guards. Damn, guess I can't, uh, can't afford my DFG. Slash pause. Not really, it's a vote pause. The enemy team has to agree. It's not really abusable. It's more of like a, if the other team wants to be uh, a good sport and someone DCs, they can choose the, the pause. I don't have my ultimate, fuck. 
I wanted to ulti one person. Victory! Uh.